What's up everyone, my name is Zach and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a fun little thing where in the last video that I posted, actually by the time you're seeing this, it might not be the last video, but in a video I did recently where I read books based on their five star and one star reviews, I got a lot of comments of people telling me that they wanted me to read Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is not the first time I've gotten requests to read Sally Rooney books. So today I'm at my local library and I looked online and they actually have a physical copy of Normal People. Unlike the ebook, it's not available. So I was like, well, this is a good reason to go to my local library. So that's what we're going to be doing in this vlog. I'm going to go in, I'm going to get Normal People. If they have any other Sally Rooney or anything else that I think might be fun for this video, I will grab it too and we'll also vlog that. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. I do a lot of new release book reviews and that's the first thing publishers look at before they approve me for a new release. So I would be very gracious if you could help me with that. And then a like on the video also goes a long way. And then obviously in the comments, let me know what you thought about my opinions of Sally Rooney. I'm in the past right now and I have no idea what future me is going to think, but I really hope that I like her writing because I am liking more literary fiction. And based on like the synopsis of her books, they sound like something I would really like. So let's hope I'm not let down by that. But I'm going to go inside and look around and then I'll come back and show you guys the book or books that I got, and then we'll go from there. Okay, be right back. Okay, I am back. So I actually ended up getting three books. Um, I don't actually know what this vlog is gonna look like now. I saw a lot of books that I want to try before I buy for like video ideas that I have. Oh my gosh, my hair is getting so long. Um, but I did not get them because I wanted to focus just on this vlog, but I had so many ideas. It made me realize that I do need to go to my local library more, which we probably all do. But for this video, I they actually had, which you would have seen in the clip that hopefully I remember that I got to add in there, but I got all of Sally Rooney's books. Um, and so I got, well, I'll just show them to you. So I got Normal People, which is where this idea first started. But surprisingly, they had them all. I, I actually was really surprised by that. Conversations with Friends, which I've wanted to read for a while. And then Beautiful World, Where Are You? So I have all three of them. I don't know what this video is gonna end up looking like. This was kind of just on a whim idea I had on my way home from work today. So I know at least we are going to read Normal People and we will see where it goes from there. Let's see what this is about. They actually also look like they won't take that long to read. Um, story time, you ready? It says, at school, Connell and Marine, Mar Marine? Uh, pretend not to know each other. He's popular and well-adjusted, a star of the school football team, while she is lonely, proud, and intensely private. But when Connell comes to pick his mother up from her job at Marina's house, a strange and... and oh man, she's going to have words that I don't know in here. And deliable connection grows between the two teenagers one they are determined to conceal also i apologize it's like really hot in here my glasses are foggy i'm sweating anyways uh, a year later they're both studying at trinity college in dublin marina has found her feet in a new social world while connell hangs at the sidelines shy and uncertain so they kind of like switch places throughout their years at university marina and connell circle each other straying toward other people and possibilities but always magic magnetically irresistibly drawn back together and as she veers into self-destruction and he begins to search for meaning elsewhere each must confront how far they are willing to go to save each other sally rooney brings her brilliant psychological acuity and perfectly spare prose to a story that explores the subletities of class the electricity of first love and the complex entanglements of family and friendship okay i'm not gonna lie that sounds right up my alley so this is gonna be really interesting to find out if i actually end up liking these books or not. Even though my glasses are foggy and I'm sweaty, it's really nice to be like vlogging outside of the house and outside of my normal space. I know jump scare, I took my glasses off. We're all horrified now, but they're just real foggy. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna go home now. And uh, this was cool. This was a cute little quick trip to the library and uh, it reminded me that I need to go there more. Okay, you should do the same. I'll update you guys later whenever I get into normal people and we'll see what the rest of this vlog possibly will bring us. It is Friday night. I just got out of the shower. Uh, that's why I look a mess and Rom has joined us. Um, yeah, sorry for my crazy hair. It's growing out yet again. So it's looking a mess, but it's fine. We are going to talk about 
Normal People. So I finished Normal People. I gave it five stars, maybe even a new favorite, which, okay, my glasses also were doing the most. They're fogging up because it's so hot. I guess we'll just do this without glasses on. That's fine. Um, I'm shocked that I loved this book as much as I did. Like, shocked. If you had asked me to go through Goodreads and pick out books that I thought there was no way I would like, this would have been one of them. So I'm really glad that the last video that I did led to me doing this and then all the recommendations for me to at least try Sally Rooney because I loved this book. Um, before I take a look at my notes off the top of the head, my head, I can tell you I loved the writing and I do understand why some people love this book and other people don't. I can see why it's um, controversial or like people either really love it or you really don't. It's such a distinct writing style and storytelling. And I've also already gotten a hundred pages into conversations with friends, which I'll talk about in a second. But after reading both of them, I can tell and then looking at the synopsis of um, Beautiful World, which is the next one, Where Are You? And then her release coming out in September, I can tell that she writes a very distinct kind of story. And that story is about like unrequited or forbidden love or just really difficult romantic love will they won't they sort of situation secret love that seems to be like a common theme of all of them and she writes the intensity and the angst of that so well and these aren't even romance books i mean they're they're like contemporary fiction romance i'm not sure actually how to classify them but at their heart at least the two that I've read so far, and I haven't finished Conversations with Friends, so I'm only going to talk a little bit about that. But at their core, they're all about love, like love for friends, love for partners, love for humanity. Um, this one in particular, though, I read you guys the synopsis already, but it's a, it's a story about two people who grow up together and are afraid to love one another. And they do it really mess, like in such a mess. And I found it to be really human. There was something that I wrote... Um, about the story that I wanted to read to you guys. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have to hold it real close to my face because I don't have my glasses on, but that's fine. Um, yeah, one thing I wrote was the writing so far, I like love the writing a lot so far. It really resonates with me. And maybe that's the key to this. It either resonates with you or it doesn't. Um, I said it reminded me of Tea Times 3, Tomorrow, 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 which is the first literary fiction book I think I ever really read, um, at least in recent years, and I absolutely loved that. I wrote, um, yeah, this is the part that I wanted to read you, to you guys. I wrote this about halfway through the book. To be honest, I don't really care if they end up together or not. I think this is a pretty realis realistic example of the complexities of very various relationships. And I think that really like hits the nail on the head of what this book is like, and I can understand why other people don't like it. Um, also, the ending, I can understand why people either really love the ending or they really hate it after all that this couple goes through or these like two people, I can understand why people would have feelings about the ending, but I loved it. I loved everything about this book. It felt so human. And I think that's something that I'm learning to love about literary fiction is like, I feel so seen reading a book like this. I can also hear the argument about why people would think it's really pretentious because at some parts it is really pretentious, but I also think that Sally Rooney does such a unique job of showing humanity and other ways that other books just can't do. Trust me, I'm as surprised as you are. I did not think that I would love this book, but I just really did. Um, so essentially the main guy in here, he comes from a rather poor family. His mom actually works for the girl's family in here. What's interesting about this dynamic though, and I got it wrong when I was reading the synopsis and my commentary about it, was that he he doesn't let anyone know that they are like sleeping together in high school. He wants to keep it a secret. She does not. And so there's a lot of commentary on, well, does he really love her if he doesn't want other people to know? But then you see these unique and intimate scenes with them together and they're just so human. They're so human. And I think the reasons why there, there's also so much good commentary on how like in today's world, we share so much of our relationships with other people through conversation and social media. And they just really want their relationship to be between the two of them. They don't want other people to know the details. And I just thought that there was something so beautiful and unique about that. Because I think we've gotten to a point where we believe that we're worthy by sharing the extent of our relationships with other people. Social media is a big way that that, that is done, although I think it's always been done. Like status and everything comes from who we hang out with and, and who we are around other people, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, 
I know I'm a hot mess. I can't even see the camera right now, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I love this book. I think I'll end up giving it a new favorite, though when I think about the other new favorites of this year, I'm not sure. I just, I'm in love with Sally Rooney and I loved this book. Well, I mean, we'll see as I read more of her books, but this was a hit. I really, really loved it. And so I immediately started and I am going to go a little bit slower with this one because I don't want to burn out on her writing since I have three to read in this vlog. But I started conversations with friends. This is the story about Bobby and Francis. Francis? Yeah, Bobby and Francis, um, who they are spoken word poets and they they get introduced to a really famous couple and the Bobby the main character is Francis I yeah most of the story is from her perspective so she's like the main character she dated her best friend in high school they broke up after a year um, and so her best friend Bobby is a lesbian she's bisexual when they meet this really famous cuppy couple her best friend Bobby starts to fall for the woman and our main character, Francis, starts to fall for the man. And so they that couple is still married, though. And so there's like, will they, won't they? Is there going to be adultery? Like, how are they going to handle this as a friendship? Just Sally Rooney writes what everyone thinks and feels but can't get out of them. She, she does it. And when you read it, you're like, oh, my God. Like, I resonate with this so well. Even though this is not my life, I'm like, how human? Like, again, how human? So... I'm, I'm really enjoying conversations with friends. Like I said, I'm a hundred pages in, and this is really just about um, like, I mean, this younger friend, ex partner duo getting like obsessed with this married couple. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the synopsis to make sure like, but that's like really all you can say about the synopsis. That's what it's about. And I think that might be another reason why people struggle with Sally Rooney's books is because if you don't want to read about humanity, and I could understand because sometimes humanity is too real, then don't read her books because there's not a lot of plot. If you don't like the prose, if you don't like what's being said, do not do not read her books. You're not going to like it. And I thought I was going to be one of those people, but I'm loving it so far. I mean, I need to finish Conversations with Friends, and then I have Beautiful World, Where Are You to read too. And then I've pre-ordered, I had already pre-ordered it before this video. I don't know why, but it just sounded good. And Barnes & Noble was having a sale, so I've already pre-ordered her book that she has coming out in September. And so I'll definitely be reviewing that for you guys, regardless of how the rest of this vlog goes. Um, but yeah, I'm... I'm really enjoying it so far and there's not a lot else to say really at this point. So I'll get back with you guys after I finish conversation with conversations with friends and I might not check in again until I'm done with both books just because there really isn't too much to say about the plot, but I can tell you how they're making me feel and that's fucking human and that's hard to do in books. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for this. Uh, I'll see you guys at the next check-in. Okay, hi friends. What a fitting place to end this vlog. Um, I'm back at the library to return the books because I'm finished with them. So to quickly wrap up conversations with friends, um, I finished this, I gave it five stars. It was really good. Just like normal people, like I've realized that Sally Rooney's books, they end very similarly. They give you similar feelings, but with a different story. So it doesn't feel repetitive. It's also like a different, like issue or concern. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. Did I bring my phone? I did, okay. It, it's amazing how much things I lose. Let me just check my notes really quick because I know I wrote down some things that I wanted to say in this vlog. Um, I've already said some of these things, yeah. So her books feel like suspenseful in a weird way. Like you're almost like, it almost feels like you can't stop reading it and anticipating what's gonna happen in like such a human way. It's like nothing I've ever experienced before. Like I wanted to know what these people were gonna do next. Like I, I really enjoyed that aspect um, of them, of, of both normal people and conversations with friends. We will talk about uh, Beautiful World, Where Are You in just a second. Um, I said, these are not actually romance books, but they're about love. I think I said this in the last clip. I can't remember. They're like contemporary romance. I know I talked about that in the last clip, so you guys have already heard this. Um, I read this for the moments in the story, not the conclusion, just like life. Like, the things that I took away from the story was, was not the ending of the book. It wasn't where the characters ended up. Some people aren't going to like the endings. Um, it was about, like, the small moments that Sally Rooney creates that hit so hard 
like that's what I loved so much about both normal people and conversations with friends. Um, and then I also wrote, I don't always love how it ends or where it goes, but the small moment she, moment she creates feels so painfully human. She writes about the harsh parts of humanity that we all experience and all have some parts within us. And we've all, we can all relate to some of what's in both normal friends or conversations with friends. Now, let's talk about this book right here called Beautiful World, Where Are You? I DNF'd this at 11% in. I did not like this book. I now love Sally Rooney, and I cannot wait for her next release. It seems like it's going to be more similar to Conversations with Friends and Normal People. If you think about publication order, so Conversations with Friends was published first, and then, oh, let me reach across. Normal People was published next, and then her most recent release, except for the one that's coming out this fall, was Beautiful World, Where Are You? And it's clear that she tried to do something different with this book. So basically, this is a story about like four different people living their lives, but then also, and this is the part you've probably heard the most people talk about, there are these obnoxious email exchanges between these two friends that are very political. They are, they have a lot to say and a lot of good things to say. Like, I agree with the belief systems that are being talked about. I just didn't want to read about it at the time. And it was like reading a political textbook. Like, they're very wise things. I, again, I agree with everything she's saying. But the things that I love about Sally Rooney that were in the other books were really missing from this. And it's clear that she tried to do something different. And that's fine. Authors should try to do that. Some people may love this book and hate the other two. I don't know. When I looked at the reviews, actually, normal people had the highest rating and then conversations with friends next and then this one was like way below those so i think fans of sally rooney probably did not allegedly and it wasn't like that big of a difference but probably did not love this one as much so i was just like you know what i'm not i don't want to read this so i'm not going to but i still like am very surprised that i loved these books as much as i did and i'm very very excited about that because again her new release seems like she's really going back to her roots uh, and I, I don't know if that's because she realized that's what she's good at or if she, that's just what she wants to do. But Beautiful World Where Are You felt so different from the other two. So I'm glad I didn't quite buy that one yet. Um, I'm definitely going to buy Normal People and Conversations with Friends, but I have no interest in reading Beautiful World. Which brings me to my last point before I burn up in this actual truck right here. You can see it's it's like 85 degrees outside here. So in here with the truck off, it's even hotter. Um, I, I've learned that like... I don't have to love every book. Oh, sorry about that drastic lighting change. I don't have to love every book by an author. Authors want to try new things and they don't always work. Or sometimes I haven't liked an author's previous works, but I like the newer ones like Riley Sager. I go so back and forth with his books, but I think it's because when authors write things, we see different pieces of them and different pieces of their creativity, different pieces of their life show up, different ideas. And so sometimes that just lands and sometimes it doesn't. And likewise, when we pick up books, we are going through our own things and like, a book might resonate with me now that wouldn't have five years ago or vice versa. You know what I mean? Like the moment in time that we pick up a book matters, which is why I'm not afraid to go back and read again a book that I DNF before or a book I didn't like, because depending on the reason for it, it could be something that I end up liking in the future. So I'm really glad that I ended up doing this reading vlog. I found two new favorite books. Like I really, really enjoyed again say it again for the people in the back i really really enjoyed oh god i picked up the wrong one i'm trying to do this with one hand y'all i'm a hot mess i just got to the library to return these and i'm going to pick up some other books and i forgot my library card so i hope they can look up my account but i yeah these were my favorite normal people and conversations with friends by far were my favorite but at least i didn't buy them yet so now i know which is why i need to use my library more okay i've rambled enough in this thank you so much for watching this video um, tell me your opinions about Sally Rooney and what you thought about this reading vlog. I plan to do more like this. This was just fun. Like it, it was just spontaneous and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm actually about to start another one when I go into the library. So stay tuned for that. And, um, I think I've sweat enough for all of us. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.